Hey, yo, a very good, good evening to you, Manze. It's another, another beautiful Wednesday, Manze. If you know, you know. And uh, welcome sana kwa GBS Art Club, Manze. Show kuba unaitambua, where we give a platform to take you places, Manze. We host different forms of art, Manze. So, talking about art, if you're doing any form of art, make sure una to reach via our SMS line, 21144. Una appear to hit up on our WhatsApp number, 0778445505. Then I uh, will get to give you a chance to showcase whatever kind of art you may be having. So, being a Wednesday, manze, hope you may shinda poa day me kwa fiti all the way at Kama Kamakawa, you already know how we do this. Uh, featuring incredible form of arts in the building. Na leo, leo kwenye studio manze, ustake jua, nikona the one and only. <laughs> Iyo sita sema sai. Anyways, kabla tuendele sana, ebu cheki vida and then I will be right back just in a few. Yo, welcome back, manze. So, even ndo kunaenda, kwa umechekio vida, umechekizo makladi, ma outfit, wase uko mtani wanazita drip, yani, eh? Yani, drip, eh? If you know, you know, manze. Yani, hile kungara, wengine wanaita swag, nini, lakini umecheki. So, uo mse ni mse mungine mu amazing baya. Umechekio shop venya na uza different, nini, ma outfit, and so forth. So, even ndo kunaenda, leo, kwa umechekio vida, then you definitely know who I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the one and only Mr. Royalty. Sijui ni ongeze 254, lakini if you know, you know. Aki come through, atakuwa natusho mbona iyo jina wanze. Lakini majina zake kamili pia atakuwa natusha pia po awali. So, getting back to the one and only Mr. Royalty. Hey bro, ni aji? Hey, what's up? What's up bro? Inakuaji mbana? Niambie, what's up? Ah, everything good bro. Niambie, umeshinda aje leo? Niko fiti mwanze, siku mikuwa fiti, mikuwa productive, corona, corona hivi, but tunapambana bana. At the end of the day, lazima tusikumi, ama ni aji bro. Ndo, hivyo. By the way, ume mention about corona, corona, nini, nini. So, wa umekuwa kikopa paji na maisha hii period, jo? Okay, so, corona mwanze, imekuwa blanda, kwa zuna chiki, sisi, ni wase tuliko tunapigia sana sana masuti, mina pigianga masuti, eh? Na sana sana watu wa wedo walikuwa kibao na wati wa function. So sahi tangu korona ikama kuna wedo wa kuna function, inabidi seo kuwa mjanja. So kwa pakeje zetu zile za suti, ikabidi sasa sahi. Wasi wengine wa kumila tu suti peke, tunongezi ya client pia mask. So tunamekish kwa client wetu wa kuwali protected. Na plus msia kisikia suti na kampia na mask, na nachajuhile beye ilikuanga, siya kutisawa. 
Ai hapo sa hapo sa acha tusiende in detail sana lakini so our viewer manze that's what the one and only a Mr Royalty manze ana come up tena kutusho story yake imekuwaaje all through like ameanzanga his story na fashion and design line and so forth so meanwhile you can be part of a conversation tonight manze to hit up across our social media platforms as GBS TV Africa na pia tuma tume so hapo hivyo on WhatsApp sa hii niko niko on mbaya sana 0778445505 uh, and then uh, mtakuwa na respond back to you niambie swali watu wanadai kuuliza Mr Royalty ka unadai hizi ma outfit ma suit and so forth then atakuwa ana deliver manze to your place so getting back to the one and only Mr Royalty Kenya hey bro so tukianzia nadai kujua like interest yako ilitoka wapi ndo ukasema acha udu kitu na du sai okay so for more stretch up and energy you pick the info eh? uh, my name is Dan Daniel Styles um, but official names ni Daniel Mwangi but uh, people usually call me Mr Royalty eh? that's the name of the brand so history of fashion nilianza after ni maliza high school venye nimeingia kampuni ilikuwa pale hiyo eh So um tukipiga ile daro pale yenyewe mimi kosi yenye nilikuwa na do haikuwa uh, ni jazz ile kosi nilikuwa na wallet management and conservation so manze na jaribu kuchapa hesabu after hii nimemaliza hii kosi nitapata job kweli so nikasema acha nitafute option b eh acha nitafute ange option b in case hii backfire at least ni kuna option nyingine so even ndo nilianza fashion cause mimi nilikuwa napenda kudumba na nikidumba asolfa kitu na kafiti nikaanza kupiga looks mpaka ma lecturer wakaanza kuitisha na hivyo ndio nilijipata kwa industry bro oh hapo sawa a very big shout out to you manzeji ya hiyo story anyways nadai kujua we kama fashion designer like a uh, client akikamkwa shop yako nini nini ile ya kwanza una consider ama unaangalia kabla uuzie huyo client okay uh, okay mostly i usually deal with suits eh? Na ukiangalia client si suti yote client yote anafaa kuvaa una get unafaa kuangalia vitu kama complexion msee kuna rangi nyingine unaweza mpatia yani hata body shape yeah? kuna vitu mbovu sana unafaa kuangalia plus also unaangalia mahitaji ya client client anataka kitu formal ama anataka kitu outgoing unaangalia pia like you know um client yeye mwenyewe yako aje ako outgoing client ako composed ametulia yeye anapenda rangi zinakaje hizi ni vitu zote unafaa kuangalia look use your see look usiuzie look yenye wewe inakubamba na yeye akivaa ayuko fiti ni wote mnafaa on the same page upate yake piga look ako sawa na pia unaona ako sawa so hizo ni vitu zote unafaa kuangalia All right all right hapo saa hapo saa tumekuget lakini bado tukiwa hapo kwa client manze mimi nadai kujua like a uh, biggest mistake yenye ushaifanyia client ni gani na alijua wakati alijua how did you handle that um i think ilikuwa ilikuwa fit eh na ilikuwa ile time nilikuwa nimeanza kwa zile time nilikuwa nimeanza sikuwa na like right now i have employees i have uh, i have employed several trainers basi kitambo I used to outsource tailors na nilikuwa niwe hata ilikuwa tao ilikuwa huko bangu huko na get so umepatana na client tao and then umemchukua measurements umeenda imesho mafuti and then umerudi so client ku fit kuna venye hiyo fitting i let it shangwe kidogo so unajaribu kuchapa hesabu umwambie Aseme hii suti yenyewe pia hapo ilikuwa ina kabig yenyewe nilikuwa nikwambia nirudi tena na kario bank na hiyo suti tena ikiwa na huyu jamaa sasa hii hata nipea pesa na nataka pesa eh ilikuwa blana so inabidi tu umekanyagea kama hajashikanyisha wewe unajua tu next time utabidi umepiga job kwa so fit eh hapo kwa fit relation ya client suti ikiwa but yeah anyway i'm complain na ilikuwa tu sawa aha wewe ile kabisa Okay okay hapo sawa hapo sawa bro so uh, one more thing na dai kujua like uh, tukiongelea bado hizo na client and and your suits and your outfits and so forth like inakuaje your pricing inakuaje okay the most expensive like suit ama outfit to shy user ile kwa ina worth how much <sighs> okay sawa so nitakwambia hivi eh unacheki suit ni kitu diverse 
cause fabric za suit zina zina depend ona jadi si liu kenu dapata suit na 1500 una get so iki tu inategemea na material cause unapata kuna material na nunua kitu kama let's say 2000 per meter na kuna fabric nyingine na by 5000 per meter una get hata utapata mzee anakwambia material ni 10000 per meter suit ni meter tatu already hiyo fabric imekula 15k ama hata imeshakula 30k so una get hizo suti huwezi zuza zisem so unapata kuna suti zile za 10k kuna suti tu za 30 zingine tu za 80 hata so so inategemea tu na client mwenyewe kenye anataka kenye anataka ndio tunamwambia all right all right so according to you yani umeziweka zote i mean auna standard flani maybe kuanzia certain price kwenda juu ndo hapo hivyo ndo unachezea ama hata mimi nikikuja nayo 1500 umesema bado nitapata suit lakini mina dai kujua sana like tukibongea bado hizo na suit and so forth na cheki sana unawak sana na ma gentlemen yani niseme ma, ma boy child ama ma gentlemen if you know you know so as ajibu yako mostly na kuangaja kwa wale ladies wenye wana ku approach wakikuliza pia si tuna dai dresses wao unawajibaje okay kwa hivyo eh? mimi i believe in quality work eh? na yeye naje unafanya kila kitu na the end of the day unafanya mazitu yako lazima ufanye ukifanya client kitu hata yeye mwenyewe akitembea huko nje si lazima ati ajua na kafiti wase wana kamwa na jileta na mbe eh kuna kafiti so it's one step at a time nilianza na masuti za majens ziko sawa wase wakakubali sasa hivi nimeanza za ladies actually recently i have a collection i'm supposed to drop na nimezifanya tu shoot juzi so ladies nimeshaanza kufanya suti zao we'll be dropping them in in a wild palette as social media and then bado tunaingia dresses mdogo mdogo to slow but sure cuz mimi nikipiga kazi nataka napiga kazi sasa so si rafishi but we're getting there so nawaambia nga tu chill the mimi na kama but nishaanza za madeni is going the way up All right all right a very big shout out to you juu your story but ingekuwa ni mimi John ingeanza na ladies you check ladies wanapenda hizi manguongo zina kaivi wajua mwanaume pia ndio apate 10k join na kwa issue kwa bro actually quite the opposite iko hivi eh madam wana bind vitu sana eh but siku baya Uh, kuna venye wafika ngi bei sana una get <laughs> madem eh. si si which madem wata buy vitu mob Aha. but bei kwa na get yeah. but charlie ile siko ni charlie ana more to spend charlie atakamata hapo kwa shop kwa je 50 charlie wa spend ngi sana but ile day yenye ame to spend ah naangusha sana sana so eh. si pezi complain but wote ndio washika kwa market in uh, in the next year Okay okay hapo saa hapo saa so like na, na dai kujua ama on on like your fans wanadai kujua which are some of the brands zenye umewak nazo so far so good uh, okay um kuna wase wengine nitawataja tu but kuna wase wengine kwa taja saa zingine client con pechid con eh abonye mbio jina con pechid <laughs> Hiyo hatujasikia hiyo. Sasa aha confiche confiche eh mwanzo umekataa bana sija kunywa chai. Ah inge iko na kamusi unaweza isema kwa Kiswahili. Eh eh msijui kwa Kiswahili. All right all right proceed. Anyway anyway mm-hmm. so um nimewak na makla nimewak na jina big big cause the me mse kapo zen ni mwana Paul ni mwana ah juzi kuna project ni kwa medo wild bike na skizo simple bro as kwa me piga suit na ita tent sana um ni mwana kasolo ni kwana Chris Darling ama Saint George ni kwana Judge Edu like ni me wakna ah si wote na wote ni clients wangu na nawaappreciate sana wamekaa mwaka chukua look kwangu and i was very honored actually to work na big names in the industry na even ndo tuna skuma manze. Hii drip lazima kila mtu imfikie. 
ndo hivyo bro shasema very big shara to you juu ya hiyo story lakini inadai kujua like hao wase umesema wao ndo uku reach out ama wao ndo unajituma like kama wao ndo uku reach out like ni nini ile una make what makes your brand unique so that ndo wase wa follow up um okay kuna wenye na reach out kuna wenye wana ni reach out but say kwa hivi ukipiga job mimi mwambie and say wao kufanya job yako Make sure umefanya job safi na make sure umeifanya na roho yote. Kwa hiyo juu yao mse mwenye umefanyia job na nakutana nani? So mimi wale wa client wenye nimewafanyia job, mimi wafanyia na roho moja. Kama nilifanyia nani? Nilifanyia wisdom. Wisdom nikamchukua, nikampigisha look moja kwa life safi. Akaenda kapitana na Pose. Pose akamwambia manze hii drip umetoa wapi? Ni show mwenye amemku ndio hey, drip. Na Pose akanicall, akaniambia eh hey, ni aje bro kuna mali nilichukua ndio ya wisdom na hiyo mali ni safi nataka na hivyo ndio tukaanza kuwa so wewe whatever job unapiga wewe piga job na roho safi piga job na roho moja na at the end of the day hiyo job ni utakongelea wasipige kelele ukisema ti oh job yangu ni kali job yangu iko hivi wewe piga job wewe tumia wacha job kuongelea hivyo tu All right apo sana now for those who don't know now you know anyways man if you're joining us right now there is your badest your heart show i'm talking about GBS art club and you already know how we do this man each and every wednesday na thursday 8:30 to 9 pm man on your favorite tv i'm talking about GBS tv never hesitate to follow us across our social media platforms at GBS TV Africa. So before to end the sana with the one and only Mr. Royalty who is uh, live from his home. Let's take a very quick break and then we'll be right back. Yo, welcome back manze. So hiyo event umecheki hapo actually inaanza kesho mapema. Kesho mapema make sure unafika pale Facebook IYF Kenya so that you'll get to watch the whole of that event and we also giving out certificates so long as you follow the instructions as directed so right about now we are live with the one and only mr royalty kenya yo bro hope you can hear me so i want to know one more thing from you like um, when it comes to kuvava kudunga dunga like which like umewai dress mm, biggest event ama ah nitasemaje okay how can you rate uh, kabla tufika hapo how can you rate your brand Uh, brand yangu ni big manze. Mimi na believe brand yangu ni big. Si ati na believe brand yangu ni big. And how do you know your brand is big? Eh? Uh-huh. Kuna wale wote wana reach out, eh? Wanakuambia niaje manze. Eh, wewe ndio ulipiga hii look nataka. Nilisema siezi wa taja wote juu ya ile jina nilemea ile. Yeah. But eh, kuna wase tu wana ku reach out wase wa big kwa industry wanakuambia niaje manze na look i want this out na hapo ndio mwenyewe unajua kwa sababu wase wenye wanapiga look nyingi sana so kuna majina fulani zikishafuka mdm mama zip text kwa me one for kitu unajua manze so me i know in kenya mr royalty is one of the best brands when it comes to seafood kenya na hiyo i'm 100% confident All right, all right. So, like kama saa hii unge kunafanya hii fashion and design, ukidesign wa say ni nini nini and so forth. Unafikiria saa hii at the moment unge kwangu na do nini? Ah, uh, actually ningekuwa na deal na wanyama manze. Cuz mimi nilikuwa department ya vet. Na probably saa hii ningekuwa maju. Actually saa hii ningekuwa na deal scholarship na school. Cuz nikimaliza nilimada na first class owners eh? Na hata hiyo kitu ilifanya mzaya lete noma cuz venye nilipata first class mzaya alikuwa anataka sana chape masters and piga pressure apply scholarship when the maju fanya masters na nilikuwa nimeshaanza ku apply but say kafika mali manze ni kona brand yangu nimesukuma tangu kitambo nimesema nao mbali huyu kama mtu wangu kwani nitamwachilia hivyo nikasema acha nipige pige kiasi ikikosa ku work nita confide story ya kwenda maju ya scholarship but you sign the on in our work nikamwacha ni sukume mdogo mdogo na so far it ain't disappoint and i appreciate that and i thank god all right all right hapo saa hapo saa so uh, kabla tu end up like na dai kujua like so far umekuki deal sana na majentlemen manze kwa dress kwa design and so forth so so far umecheki kama uh, ko, nini inaitwaje demand demand imekuanga gani exactly ya yeah, ma gentlemen Um okay maybe believe eh? like in this fashion industry 
sisi wasi wengi sana wa kukofashion industry but you should be knowing what you do eh? kama mimi um 80% of what i'm doing right now is suits mimi mimi ni msetu wa masuti but um nikiangalia suti ziko on demand by the cause mawedo wasi wanapiga mawedo kila wedo wanataka suti wanataka suti zimesimama mimi nakaanga chini na client na mwondia suti yenyewe zipata Kenya eh? na that's why unapata at least at the end of the day hapo ndo nakulia cause hiyo creativity na ile ya on board so wase wa fair wase wa ma companies i usually get tenders company na kwambia ni aje tunataka suti so ama tunataka mashati so aso yote nafiga cause at the end of the day kazi ni kazi ama ni aje bro au sha sema sha sema sha sema ati pia suti za nyamse hizi pata Kenya hii yangu sijui kama umecheki yangu pia inaka kupatikana second this but you know you can show wewe fanye hivi bro wewe tu tu kuja kuja tu tu stay sema mbele ya camera wewe kuja tu shop nitakwambia tu hiyo story kwa masikioni eh usikue hivyo usikue hivyo anyways anyways greatest greatest challenge imekuwa kwako kwa industry ni gani Sorry, COVID-19 bana wewe sije pata challenge kama hii cause unapata saa hii um so wasi wengi wana invest kwa mungu cause wasi wengi wamekuwa kwa hao na hakuna mzee atakupa sije pige kwa hao na get wasia mzee kamia look anataka kwenda nao job mzee kamia look anataka kwenda nao place aonekane hakuna mzee atabaingua so saa hii the greatest challenge actually ni COVID-19 but hapo nyuma nyuma tulikuwa tu ma challenge hivi hivi sasa niseme kama gani uko tao pale nilikuwa kitambo sasa zingine stima life zinaweza leta shida ama unapata hata orders ni mob actually hata hiyo ilikuwa eh, too much work that was a challenge cuz unapata uko na suti kama chwani na zote zinaenda hiyo wiki na mafundi wa watoshi hmm? so unapata wengine tu na bidu nawaambia ah mzee eh mimi siwezi manage um wewe tutakushonea tu next time but unajua pia kukata dosi mchezo pia bado inauma but at the end of the day you must maintain that professional professionalism all right all right hapo saa a very big shout out to you manze juu ya history unafanyia sana sana kwa ma youth men and so forth so unaweza sema pia is there any way una try to serve community ama village yako na hii kazi una do Okay yeah, yeah true true tunapeana ngama atacho kwa my youth wasionye amefanya fashion at least kuna kama hapo wanapiga katacho anapata ka experience kidogo mdogo um my youth wengi sana waamini reach out wengine wanaka dm wengine wanaka uko online tu wengine hata wanaka personal manager bro eh manzi una ni inspire sana nataka kujulifikaja and i sit down with them naambia hiki tu si ngumu bana bado umejipanga naongea nao fiti at the end of the day I'm say kuna wasi wengi sana nimebonga bonga nao na unachiki wamend out there wanachangamka at least hustle pia wanaanza kupiga na unachiki mse ame improve na hiyo inafaisha sana sasa pia zile materials zimebaki baki huko kwa shop zile ma waste bag za kutupa tunaunda mask 2 tatu tunapatia patia watu tunapatia patia ma clients hivyo tu ndio tuna sukuma bana hii maisha ni kujengana bro hapo sawa hapo sawa pia uko yet kunijenga ndo nikubali kweli unajengana angalia hiyo siti hapo tangu ni sema ule angalia angalia tu watu wataanza kujishuka na pesa anyways anyways a very big shout out to the one and only miss royalty kenya yo kama ka uh, there is gbs at club manze and you already know how we do this manze each and every wednesday and thursday 8:30 pm to 9 pm manze only on your favorite tv i'm talking about gbs uh, TV so you can follow us across our social media platforms as GBS TV Africa and then tujua tra vibe tujua rada ni gani na pia ka una do any form of art manze usi hesitate hata kidogo manze reach out via SMS line to double one double four na pia our WhatsApp line ni 0778445505 and then shock pia chance pia get to showcase whatever art you are doing because there is where we give you a chance to take you places manze so kama ka we are live with the one and only Mr. Royalty Kenya kabla aende at least tunadai kujua like bro like kuna unaweza aje define like sat- satisfaction ya client wako yani unaweza aje uh, conclude like oh client ameridhika kabisa na service yenye nimem offer Ah uh, kuna several ways unaweza check your stuff eh. Kitu ya kwanza ni reaction ya clients na wewe ni bamba sana. 
reaction ya client akiva suti any client akiva tu suti unachikitu msia me smile unachikitu msia me bambika hiyo ni reaction ya kwanza ingine ambayo you come later ni client anakuletea mabeshte zako cuz mimi ni shall do job like 6 7 months without posting anything on social media but daily niko na job daily niko na job daily niko na masuti ina maanisha je ma client wanaletea mabishti zake na kuna mse mwenye amerithika kama mse amerithika lazima atakuletea bishti yake na kama mse amejam haezi kuletea bishti yake so kuna client ana kama na mbogi yake wote amekama na wase wote wa job wamekuja hapa na kambi eh ni aje au sasa ni chiki suti yangu sio client amebambika So ukiona msia anakuletea babishke zake hapo tu ndo unajua yenyewe ile 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 suti ni msile mzuri hapo sawa hapo sawa so jibu yako kwa mse mwenye atakwambia like yo Mr Royalty let's do this like a uh, wiki mzima dunga tu like dunga tu casual uso ivaa suti itakuwa gani Eh hey, blanda blanda you know what I'm doing eh Nimevaa jeans one day mara moja for the past five years Imagine. Na ni kimo na go. Eh. This nanga mimi napiganga suti from Monday to Monday. Na eh so saidi keza ambi wanipige casual eh nitaumia sana. Nitaumia bro. So una maanisha haya ni udunga pia wanaumia ama inafuatana na mse ile extra na pen. Na tegemea na mse. Unajua kuna mse anapiga hiyo casual na. Na hiyo ndo stronghold yake. Mimi stronghold yangu ni suti. Na nataka ni hapo daily mm. msia anotisi eh hey, ule msia anauzanga suti unajua msia lazima jumake tuna hasuli yake alright alright kabla so, utu ya kutu daily sawa sawa kabla utu show place unapatikana physically how was your experience working with uh, miss ah is a miss a universe kenya 20 20 oh, eh, 2020 yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah last year uh, oh, yeah <laughs> niliwak na hawa se uh-huh. na actually hiyo hiyo ndio one thing nilikwambia kama brand yako ni kubwa utajua cuz they approached me wakaniambia ni aje by the sinatafuta mse wa ku dress um, MC uh, Miss Universe Kenya 2019 kulikuwa 2019 na mimi 2019 2020 ama eh ndio sasa so mimi ndo nilikuwa job ya kupigisha MC look na nikampigisha look na watu wakati na wakabambika na nikasikia fiti sana so the experience was amazing thank you to them actually uh, my brand also get got ex- exposed and uh, i appreciate god for all that so it was an amazing experience actually well a very big shout out to you bro ju ya amazing thing manze unafanyia 254 as the nation so like uh, so far so good uh, our kenya wana daikusikia what kind of message are you having to them Ex- eh, eh, especially time manzi ya covid 19 okay so mimi nitasema hivi um kama youth eh? um first of all eh? my youth wengi wanaenda kampu at the end of the day wakijua kenya wanasomea and at the end of the day wataacha na kwenda ngi hivyo sasa zingine manzi kunaenda vingine umesoma uko na degree ama uko na sat ama uko na deep na matoko kuinja kuna wera So ukiwa chuo usikuwe na ile mentality ya tia white collar job white collar job lazima nipate because akupata udadi so kuwa na plan B wewe ukitoka wewe jua ah niaje si niko na degree ni sawa acha nitafute job but in the meantime naweza piga kitu kingine hakuna anga pesa safi na hakuna pesa chafu okay, okay kuna pesa chafu but hakuna pesa kubwa kuliko nyingine hakuna shilingi kubwa ati shilingi ya bank ni kubwa kuliko shilingi yeah. ya msio mkopotieni una get so wewe piga hustle kama ni kitu unaipenda wewe ipatie chance wewe pige wacha uone pale itakufikisha kwanza the end of the day unjui plan yenye Mungu atakao mekupangia ni plan na anyway hii time ya covid 19 it's hard time sisi wote tunaumia so we kama kuna hasulu unapiga na unaona iko fit weka zana pia sisi tunaumia bana hakuna mtu mwenye umini so weka zana tu but ni time poa sana ya kudiscover vitu vingine mpya unaweza kuna do kwa sababu wasi wako na free time mob sana. Wewe try try zile vitu zenye umekukipendanga, umekianga, umekuanga kufikia utafaya. Na ujui kama hapo ndo God atakufungulia njia. So wewe pige hiyo hasoli yako either ndogo ama kubwa. Wewe zijua bana. The next big fish inaweza kuwa ni wewe. Au uh, shasema, shasema manzi. Hapo sawa. So like uh, kuna mse amekuwa kiwa show since tuanze up to this time na anadai kujua uko best wapi physically or do, are you doing any deliveries and so forth. 
So yeah, the lever is to the figure, but our fit is to fit to the action. So let me pin in a conga pro camp for shop, but how is it given as a camera measurements and then to the Faneki to online to check your fabric and then to get on the details of the suit and then to touch more suiting. But physical location, I'm located Pale at Accra Road, eh? junction near Accra Road, Nadu Boys Road. There's a building there in the Superior Ken. The second floor to three. Uh, you know, shop. Um, and appear delivery to Napiga countrywide delivery. Um, Naza Sama Pia from Tandao, eh? From Tandao, Naza Tupata on Instagram at Mr. Royalty Tailored, Mr. Royalty Tailored, Ama Daniel Styles, of which you're Jinao. Now, Facebook, Daniel Styles, na Mr. Royalty. Actually, you're two legends with Napiga. Aposawa, Aposa, a very, very big shout out to the one and only uh, Mr. Royalty. Kenya manze ya kiwakilisha huku tufaifo manze kwa hizo ma outfit masuti zote manze itabidi umemtembelea ume pale manze place ako as well you can follow him across all social media platforms as Mr. Underscore Royalty Kenya. Ah, kitu kaa hiyo. <laughs> Anyways, our viewer manze, thanks anaka umekuwa ukiwachi show since tuwanze. Adi saa hii tunaenda kukakata design kama hii. Lakini manze usisahau, if you are doing any form of art manze, this is why we give you a chance to showcase, uh, to take you places as well. So feel free manze kutu reach via SMS line to double one double four na pia. Uh, via our WhatsApp number uh, 0778445505 and then trap pata kuku pay a chance pia u get ku showcase whatever you may be having manze cause there is what we do and you already know how we do it manze each and every uh, Wednesday and Thursday 8, 8.30 to 9 p.m. manze only on your favorite TV. I'm talking about GBS TV Africa and you can follow us across our social media platforms kama GBS TV Africa as well. So let's do this to patane manze kesho, kesho kwanzia mapema sana pale tukiwa na Youth Connect manze wal Youth Connect itakuwa ina run from uh, 30th up to 1st actually. So you can uh, be part of our participants pale. Uh, what you need to do, no registration fee is uh, needed from you actually. What you need to do is just to get to Facebook, IYF Kenya. Like that page, because that's where you'll be uh, receiving all the information. Manze, uh, event it live, like we are doing this with all the youths in the world, you know. Anyways, let's do this, Manze, again next time. Uh, same place, same time. I've been your host, Eddie Vokia254. Pull up.